Hey, what's up? Wednesday, September the 18th, 2024. It's about 1230 in the afternoon. I just got done looking at Roger Hornsby's 1918 season. I'm going through all his box scores. Career average, 358. He's, he's someone to reckon with. How did he do in 1918? Well, World War I was going on. The United States was involved. Europe was a mess. As a result, a lot of the games in September of that year were canceled. So Roger Hornsby only got into 115 games. 154 game season. He missed some through the year. And then he missed all of September practically. So that's about, let's see, 40 games roughly. 39 games. So he had 115 games he played, 416 at bats. 51 runs scored, 117 hits. That's down. The year before, he had 171 in 145 games, so he had more than a hit a game. 1918, 117 hits in 115 games. That's a hit a game. But you want to have more than a hit a game, like 1.25 or 1.3, 1.4 hits per game played. He was just averaging about one hit a game. 19 doubles, 11 triples, 5 homers, 60 RBI, 8 stolen bases, 40 walks, 281 average. He's a 358 career. So he had two years in a row, 1916 and 17, where he batted over 300. He uh, goes from 327 down to 281. I don't know what happened. Let's see, 1918, he's 22 years old, so he's still getting his feet wet, even though he had two good years, 1916 and 17. I don't know what happened 1918. Uncharacteristic for Rogers Hornsby. 349 on base, 415 slugging, 173 total bases. year before, he had 253. Hitting streak of nine games, 32 multi-hit games, 26 two-hit games, five three-hit games, one four-hit game. Six games, two runs scored, one game, three runs scored, one game, four runs scored. He had nine two-RBI games, five three-RBI games, and one four-RBI game. So 1918 is a down year for Rogers Hornsby. That's all you can say about the year, really. 281 average? That's not him. Way do you see when he gets going? Especially in the 1920s. He gets a, he gets a five-year stretch where he was over 400. He batted over 400 three times. But he averaged in five years... 400 or better. Did you know that? In a five-year period, he was 400 or better batting average. We will get to it when we get to the 1920s. So the next video, I'm going to cover 1919. World War I messed up everything in baseball. They didn't play games in, the, in September of that month. So about 30 games are wiped out. Too bad. You know, if Rogers Hornsby had had those extra 30 games, maybe it's another 30 hits. Did you know that he ended up with 2,930 hits? Six, 70 hits shy of 3,000. So in 1918, he missed 30 games. And then you'll see as his career goes on, there are some years where he doesn't play 154. There are some years, like he had 1923, he plays 107. He misses about 45 games. So 30 in 1918 he could have played. 45 more games in 1923. Then in 1930, he only played 42 games. Oh, man. 
he could have had 3,000 hits if he hadn't have missed a lot of those games. You know, in 1930, he's only 34 years old. And he only played 42 games. Must have been injured. Something happened that year. I don't know. 1932 is another year. It's only 36 in 1932. He played 19 games. Yikes. So toward the end of his career, he did manage, but he missed a lot of games. Ended up with 2,259 games, and he gets 2,930 hits. That's a good average. That's like 1.35 hits per game played. He, he was, he's in the top five as far as hits averaged per game played. 2,200 games, 2,900 hits. Give him another 100 games, he's over 3,000 hits. Okay, next video, 1919. Talk to you later, I'm out.